Good afternoon. Welcome to tomorrow's Saturday, April 6th, with meet for 2024. So now, some is saying Atomica is better than she's a Manita. Well, some believe the sun shine that is shining is God, and they worship that. So, special open gate shout out to Juno Fender, a mystic man with a personality to match, a good guy who always wants good for racing. He is still a major part of the open gate show, regardless you haven't heard him. Juno, special shout out to you, sir. Tomorrow's age race card starts at 12.30 p.m. And we have nine declared for race one, going to distance of seven furlongs or 1,400 meters. It's a medical condition race for needle bread foils and up. Number two, Dimitri P. will be racing now four times in 36 days. However, um, a first time tongue tie and figure it was on for the last um for the last time he raced and he showed much improvement that's the 30th of march seven for, six for long rather up with the speed flattening the bit between two and a half and a second to finally kevin foster remains and he's stretching out a furlong more should be able to fight this out once Again, number five smart player came off a sudden and was a noted closing at the furlong point, finishing fifth, six and a half length behind uh, number six Roaring Thunder and number eight Blitz Strike. Um, Blitz Strike was in front of Roaring Thunder. Um, this was the race that they all met. That race was won by Finey. Number six, Rowan Tondo gets first down figure eight and a new rider in Jerome Ennis after being one pace and passed by both number five, Smart Player, and number eight, Blitz Strike. Um, well, uh, Rowan Tondo finished within two lengths of both. Could improve, not enough in my opinion though, to reverse that position. Number seven bad investment was enjoying a fair form title in the latter quarter of last season. Um, was an unlucky loser the last time this horse race on the 25th of November when five and a half furlongs when the saddle slipped and he only failed by a short head with this rider Robert Allardine on. I was very thin and uh, took a while to return. That is my concern. Number eight, Blitz Strike stumbled that off and was surprisingly seen closing to pass all in that race that um, the top ones here competed in on March 30th. That's the race with Fanny. Um, well, except for number two, Dimitri P, who, who stayed on being up with the lead uh, approximately three lengths in front of the strike. With a better break, could surely do better. I'm selecting number eight, please strike. Number, from number two, Dimitri P. Number five, Smart Player. Number six, Rowan Thunder. Number seven, Bad Investment has to be considered. Second race. Eight declared for made a condition race for Nader Bed Trios. 1200 meters or six furlongs they go. Number one, Imaya would have won on the 25th of February, going five and a half furlongs, when stumbled badly at the off and came flying to be second, two lengths behind Firecracker. If she broke if she if she broke better for the gates tomorrow, then I'm expecting her 
to be in the top three. My two first offense is quickly back after the run, getting beat nine and a half length behind paperwork out the straight. Number four, Solo Black, a debutant, born the 14th of March, a big court by Northern Giant out of late and crafty by seeking the glory. Lawrence Fremantle all, well, Lawrence Fremantle part all this horse and trains, and trains him also. Um, Calvin McLeod, the other part owner. Alfonso Richards is the breeder. Michael Dale Groom, apprentice Shane Richardson, will be riding. This horse will debut with Visa, Tom Tai, Cigarette, and Lasix. Hard to go. But the person who does the previews always seen positives on first timer, while never seen at the track um, on exercise morning, and well, except for a very, very minute times. Interesting workouts, according to this preview, to give this horse a chance of upsetting. Number five of four, lost momentum when severely hindered two weeks ago, the 24th of March, going five and a half furlongs, um, hindered, um, leaving the three furlong point and flattened badly to be 11 and a half and fifth. Irish Wish won and was qualified, causing that interference. Um, seems to be, well, seen, seen, seen before the race with a special bit on the excess track and really ha have him moving much better. And, well, some are saying he, he would have won, especially from the connections that race when he got it out. Here again, and I'm sure that that bit will be on. Good chance, a fair. Number six, Honorable Dawn, a debutant, born the 26th of April, be caught by Savoy Stump, out of Lady Mandy by Shuffling Madness. All in own and trains, Pat, Dr. Patrick Graham, the breeder, Carlton Brown, the groom, Robert Halliday will ride. Working okay, well, far better though than number four, Solar Black, yet far different track and pool preview. On Woody Down, good factor in the lower segment of the board. Number seven, Rocola, again up in the pace, but failing to quicken. Gets Stephen Foster this time, but I was expecting uh, this, uh, this horse would get either the tongue tie or the cigarette, both of them on or one. Anyway, let's see. That's just my opinion. Number five, though, a fair. From number one, the mayor. Number two, first defense. Number seven, Rockola. Number six, unruly. Done. Race three. It's a many special weight. Race four, nearly by trio. Five rounds round or a thousand meters round. Eight declared. Number one, Smart Trick, a debutant born the 1st of April, a big coat by Casual Trick, out of Crafty Leader by Stormcraft. <clears throat> Stephen Samaru, the owner of YS95 Limited, the breeder. And to the newest trains, Steve Smith, the slated of the groom, real with the ride. Um, Smart Trick, a useful coat who should gain a top three slot. A LASIK and a tongue tie will be applied for this first timer. Number two, another debutant named Bold New Bold Move, born the 5th of April, a big coat by Sun, Sun and Shadow, by Money Move out of Burning Market. The success farm owns this horse. Um, Hugh Daly, the breeder, gave us about the trains, Leon Sicko, the groom, apprentice mm -hmm. Richard Henry Ride. Another first though, who have been showing some zest in the mornings, and could get in the top three or four, uh, will be having Lasix. Number five, Bow Shadow, ran well on the 24th of March, came back a week later and, and, and did okay, finishing 10 minutes, third to paperwork. Out the straight, we'll have Blinkers and Tonka back on, and a change of rider in, in the printed children, thousand. Number six, Global Machine, a debutant, Another one here, this is the chestnut coat, born on the 4th of April. Bread Edge Fun by 
springtime rain by spring at last. Carlton Cunningham owned and trained his horse, Lincoln Farms Limited, the breeder, a key McKenzie, the groom, Omar Walker, the ride, well heralded coat with highly thought of at home. Working very well and should make a good impression tomorrow. Number six, Global Machine. Fund number five, Bold Shadow. Number two, Bold Move. Number one, Smart Trick. We're at the halfway stage, race four, nine declared. Seven furlongs out, 12 out, 400 meters. It's restricting for the lowest five. Sorry, it's restricting for the lowest four. Eligible, I need a bit further up with only one twice. And imported four and up with only one once. Number one, Cookie Day and Night. One of two here for trainer Gary Sobrati. This horse has been lurking for a while and could come alive anytime to give connections sweet cookie and cream. Number two, Mr. Senator, another who is placed on ice. Number three, Katie Strong, the other Gary Sobrati ancient. We have a more comfortable pace to relax and do well. Could be dangerous if focused. Number four, El Afartinado, capable thought that can come alive. Number five, Super Alex. It's February fourth display. It makes him uh, to have a good chance if focused to do so. I'm talking about the Valentine's Day seven and a half seven race, where he fought hard, turned into the straight, and lost by a head to all for love. Number six, she's uh, she's my head from. Two here for Trader Jason Acosta. The last two times this horse, this horse ran uh, were very, very poor display. But a trainer can have a, in improved form for tomorrow. And the seven world Ash hasn't won in ages, but fits well here with, with, with these. Number eight, Savage Girl has to be taken into consideration for a top three slot for the obvious reasons. Number nine, life is life. Needs to be made number six. She's my head fund. Uh, maybe to avenge that defeat on the 21st of January when losing by three quarters of a length, failing to catch she's my head fund and that unfinished second. Well, the torch should, should say more about <laughs> stable confidence. Number seven, Royal Ash. Number one, cookie, day and night. Number four, El Afarchonado. Number eight, Savvy Girl. Number three, KD Strong. Number five, for those who play the exotics, can have that horse up in the aisle segment of your high fives, super effective there about as this horse. Uh, it's a possibility that he can come super tomorrow. Fifth race, eight declared for children up as an optional claiming race, 450 to $550,000. Six year olds and up who haven't won four races are also eligible for this five and a half furlongs event. Number one, Donald Mighty, fitter now since that good run, first time for the season or for three month respite. That was the 24th of March, when six furlongs tested big argument, but the lack of race fitness, he flattened a bit to be second three lengths behind uh, big argument. So it's a bit tougher on paper tomorrow, but has a very good chance of fighting the race out. Number two, True Bravado. The Open Gate Show welcomes back trainer Mark Manessa who was trading horses here in Jamaica approximately seven years ago. He's a Jamaican, that I can tell you. Trubovaro has guaranteed speed, but can you guarantee he will hold it all the way? Well, he did on the 29th of April at this very trip of five and a half furlongs, opening up, opening up a commanding lead and coasted home to hold a head in front of all including Silver Fox and traditional boy. And three magic mode can be factored somewhere in the top four. Number five, Sniper Man, could find a very low exotic spot. Number six, Phenomenal Run, interesting seeing him on the curved route. 
Number seven, Archelaus, looking up in, uh, in condition uh, early in the 2024 20, season and ran well for the first time to race in 2024. That was on the 24th of February, five for August straight, and then up one and three quarter second to Basilicus and was in front of AK Storm by three quarter length. Um, Kevin Foster gets the call now. Number eight, Good Life has the lead, but from this uh, this draw, wide draw, could be found wanting in the end. Number one, Don Almighty. Number seven, Athos. Number two, Two Bavaro. Number three, Magical Mood. Number five, Night uh, Man. 13 declared for the seven furlongs or 1400 meters race. His name, Robert Clayman King Darby Senior Trophy. Robert Darby Senior, uh, good horseman. He excels with horses who are, who are having issues and has won quite a number of races, even taking some from way down and going all the way to the top. Um, he has two sons, both are trainers, Ryan Darby, uh, the more active one. This race, it's a claiming race, and up 802 million dollars. Number one, Tegra Express, returning often needed respite. Number three, Nakamura, could find a low exotic spot. Number four, Catalina, seemingly having multiple issues. Number seven, Storm, Superfit Gelding, whose last four starts, uh, the display was, you know, uh, projected a very good form cycle and will be fighting this race out for top honors. Number nine, Justin Biden. Have three things over number seven star. One, youth. Two, better off at the scale. And three, Kevin Foster. And three, the Kevin Foster. What more can I say? Number 11, turn on the lights. Have catching up to do, especially this far. Number 12, Secret Traveler, up in sales tag, this 10-year-old Gelden. Number 13, Power, the class off here. You hardly see the maestro, Philip Fiani, putting one um, in selling races. Number 9, though, Justin Biden, from number 7, Storm. Number 13, Power, I think the race lies between those. Then you have number 3, Mecklenburg. And maybe number four, Catalina for a minor exotic. The penultimate race, race seven, goes two turns, 1,820 meters or nine for 25 yards. Eight declared. It's a restricted allowance five for native red furs and up who the only one once, and imported furs and up who remains a maiden. Number one, simply sensational. will be more relaxed here and could surprise in getting in the top three. Number three, always right. One of two here for that has experienced the double curve route. She could go all the way on the lead. Let's see about that. The tongue ties off. It was on last time when she was expected to do better. Number five over alone, highly thought of at home by connections and trainer. Has had a very peculiar training preparation for this race. Let's hear from the trainer, as we always do. And this is the second horse that go, is going, that has two turn experience. Number six, Sweet Victory was behind number five, Oma Lone, and number four, Princess Tedisi, on the 20, it was, was it the 28th? I think it was the 26th of September. Yes, Boxing Day, the 26th, November, going to seven and a half furlongs. Um, Sweet Victory was. Six and on the quarter length third. Um, Princess Teresa was three and three quarter length second to Home Alone, who won quite easily then. Uh, so, Vichy to me has improved a, a bit more. So, this could be a very interesting fight. Number seven, Sparkles. Sparkles once, but and that was uh, the 
You have then January 1st, 2024, winning by 10 lengths of a time of 114 for 6 4 lengths. A little bit much, though. I haven't really done anything since to say, uh, you know, this horse can, um, is one to, to follow. But in a race such as this, and with trainer Jason Acosta having magical good touches, sparkles could sparkle if polished tomorrow. Um, number seven, sparkles. Number six, Street Victory. Number five, Home Alone. No, let me repeat. Number seven, Sparkles. Number six, Street Victory. Number three, All is Right. Number four, Home Alone. Number five, Home Alone, rather. Number one, Sensational. Uh, simply Sensational. Uh, the, the top four should definitely come from one, from, from those. Final race, race eight. Five for them straight or a thousand meters straight. Nine declared. It's a restricted stake race for imported trios and up was only one twice. Native bred three and four year olds with only one three races are ones that can start in this race. Number one, Huntsman, doing okay and should get in, you know, get on the lower end of the board or thereabout. Number two, Major Danger, makes his first start for 2024 and for trainer Ryan Darby, obviously having issues. But seeing number three come, decent sword who is very fit and could get in the mix of the top four. Number four strikes smart, another mm. of the few entries here on the card tomorrow for the stallion, want to be a player. Uh, strikes smart, very versatile coat uh, who is homebred and could factor in the lower end of the board. Number five, Princess Amala, U.S. import, who um, um, this filly uh, is well, reporting very, in, in, in looking very well. My tongue is twisted. My apologies. Um, I'm expecting this, this filly to fight it out. As, as I said earlier, she had been working well. And, uh, and just in case it rains, she won't be bothered by that. Number seven, she the god gift, very well bred importy by Wildcat Red, out of gospel direction by Lynn Mapp. Well bred in all angles for speed, for rain, well, for floppy track, for, for uh, turf. Uh, not much turf, but anyway, um, this importy is seeking a hat trick of wins and can achieve same, should be able to do very well going back out the street which she is already accustomed to. Number eight, box box, another importy here. She loves the street course and if it rains, her chances are enhanced. Um she's fit and will surely fight for the top three slots. Maybe turn this race in a procession as on last. I mean I rejected Roger has been doing better and coming out straight, so you can have that one in your lower exotics. Top three, number five, Princess Abali. Number eight, oh, sorry, number seven, I'm going down in order. She the god gave number eight, box, box. Um, my selection number five, Reluct, uh, Princess Amali from number eight, box, box, number seven. She the god gave. Good fight between those three. One of the winner will come from there, surely. Number three, Cam. Number four, Strike Smart. Number one, Huntsman. Should fight out for the minor slots. Good luck. Join me next week when I'll try to help you with your selection.